There are two rough ways of classifying plants, either by dividing them by vascular and non-vascular tissue, or by seed-bearing and spore-bearing plants. Neither is really better than the other, it's more of a preference of which differences you would like to draw attention to. And you can see in this flow chart, it's a division between non-vascular and vascular plants. And vascular tissue is the tissue within plants that transports water and nutrients up the roots and stems. So this chart is a little simplified because it only includes the plants that we'll be examining more closely. And you can see that bryophytes are the only non-vascular tissue that we'll be learning about, whereas ferns, flowering plants, and conifers are vascular plants. So that means um, bryophytes do not have vascular tissue. Ferns, flowering plants, conifers do have vascular tissue. This division gives insight into the evolution of water independence, whereas non-vascular plants must live in or near water to help them survive or reproduce. Vascular plants have more flexibility because they have the tissue that allows them to draw water from their roots and therefore grow in more dry environments. If we look at the division between spore-bearing and seed-bearing plants, this gives a more reproductive evolutionary perspective. Only conifers and flowering plants bear seeds, whereas the rest of the plants produce spores. And just as vascular tissue allowed plants to move to land, seeds gave plant offspring a better chance for survival, and these ev evolutionary adaptions will be discussed in more depth and hopefully fall into a clearer overarching picture.